Welcome to SimpleKidsCraft.com, episode 871, how to make a doll ironing board. Hi, this video is a two-part video in which I will be showing you how to make a doll iron and an ironing board. This is the second part of the video. Draw the outline for the ironing board onto a piece of cardboard. If you want, you can use a template that you can download from SimpleKidsCraft.com. Con. Then, copy the outline for the ironing board twice onto a piece of foam. Con. And draw the outline again onto a piece of fabric, leaving about 2 cm of space around the board. Con. Then glue the cardboard onto the foam. Turn around, then glue onto the fabric. By folding the fabric on the sides and gluing as you go. Glue on the second piece of foam at the bottom of the board. Then, cut small pieces of skewer sticks for the front and the back support. Glue in place. Then use your doll as a guide to calculate the height of the ironing board's legs. Cut two flat skewers or long popsicle sticks and glue them crossing each other towards the middle. These will be the legs. Cut two small pieces of thin skewer sticks to make the support for the middle and glue them at the intersection of the ironing board's legs. Cut and shape two pieces of skewer sticks as wide as the sides of the ironing board and attach them as the bottom of the board legs. To make the iron support, cut a piece of cardboard and cover it with foam. Shape and bend. Cut two small pieces of flat skewer sticks and attach them to the back of the board and attach the iron support then glue a pony bead to the back of the support to simulate an electric socket finally paint the legs using nail polish, craft paint or acrylic paint now you have an ironing board with an iron that you can plug and unplug as you wish well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment, share, subscribe and keep on recycling. I will see you on the next video. Bye!